Hello everyone, Asian Brick Geek here, and today I'm going to be reviewing LEGO Star Wars set number 75218 X-Wing Starfighter, which was released back in 2018. So without further delay, let's take a look at those minifigures. So here is the first minifigure for the set, Luke Skywalker in his pilot uniform. This is actually the first minifigure I have of Luke in his pilot uniform and I must say that I absolutely love it. I absolutely love the helmet piece. Lego has really done a good job in replicating Luke's helmet. Really nice. I love the amount of detail it has. Absolutely lovely. Now, the printing from the torso piece is also very nice. Very detailed for the front, for the back. The front printing for the leg piece is also very well done. Kind of wish that they had side printing though. Now this Luke minifigure has a dual face print so here you can see him smirking. And on the other side he has this serious concentrated look so very nice. This minifigure comes with one accessory, it comes with a lightsaber. So here we have the R2-D2 minifigure. Now this R2-D2 minifigure is similar to many different R2-D2 minifigures that have appeared in other Star Wars sets. And I am still waiting for the day where LEGO prints this part of R2-D2's leg blue because if you all know, R2-D2's legs over here have this blue printing. So I'm really waiting for the day where LEGO pr inserts that blue printing. So here we have the big Dark Lighter minifigure. Now I really love, once again, the helmet piece. I feel LEGO has really done a good job in making this helmet piece as well. The level of detail is so amazing. I really love this checkered printing over here and here. Very nice. The printing for the torso piece is also very well done. Very detailed like the Luke minifigure. Also wish that it had side printing. This Bix Dark Lighter minifigure has a dual face print, so on the other side, it's him kind of snickering or giving a smirk as well. Very nice. This minifigure comes with one accessory, it comes with a blaster pistol. So here we have R2Q2, the astromech for Bix Dark Lighter. I really love the chrome color of this astromech. Very nice, very sleek. Absolutely love it. So we come to the best thing about this set, the build. I absolutely love the build. It is amazing. This is actually my first X-Wing and I absolutely love the way it looks. It's so nice. It is so sleek. Building wise, this took me under two hours to build, maybe an hour and 45 minutes to build. I did make some mistakes, so that's why it took a bit longer than expected. Now the build can get rather repetitive especially building the wings. Those were rather repetitive. I was just doing it off muscle memory partway through. So yeah, that's very repetitive. But I absolutely love the way the build turned out. It's so magnificent. It is really a majestic build. Absolutely love the amount of details. So of course, you have like the cockpit section where you can put a minifigure inside. So I'm going to put Luke inside the cockpit section so you can put a minifigure in here and of course there's this little bay area here as well where you can put an astromat inside it fits snugly in there very nice now the wings are actually held together with a piece or rather two pieces of rubber band so of course you can see over here it's holding the wing together it's holding the wings together so if I were to remove the rubber bands, I will be able to open the S falls in attack position. Now, of course, this set has a number of play features. It has a few spring-loaded missile launchers over here and here to simulate the laser cannons. Also, stud launchers here, here, and of course, more laser cannons here. So why don't we just remove the rubber bands to just see the S falls opening up into attack position. That's if I can get my stubby hands to remove it. All right, removed one. Let's move the other one. All right. So, so let's see, where is the other one? There's one more that, I, oh wait, it's inside. Oh no, it's not, all right. So if you want to open S falls in attack position, just pull down, uh, rather pull up on this lever. So as you can see, opening up, close open, close, open, 
it is really cool i really like it of course and also there's this landing strut over here so you can always retract the strut to make it look as it is in flight so that's really cool i really like this set it is by far my favorite set of 2018 and i'm really happy that i managed to get this for christmas Overall, I give this set a 4.5 out of 5. The build is repetitive at some point, especially building the wings, but the end product is just so magnificent. So there's really, really not much to take away from this build. The minifigures for this build are also very nice. But let me know in the comment section below what you think about this set. Anyways, that's all for this video. If you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing. I upload either a new LEGO mod tutorial video or a LEGO set review video every week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.